Hey guys, I'm back again with another teardown. Today we'll be taking a look inside the Bose Soundlink Flex. Coming at $149, the Soundlink Flex offers a rich bass and clear highs with its single driver and dual passive radiators. With its IP67 rating and weighing it at only 1.3 pounds, the speaker is compact and durable, making it safe and easy to take around with you on the go. So join me as we tear down the Bose Soundlink Flex Bluetooth speaker. First thing out of the box, we have a 19.5 inch USB-C charging cable. And here we have the beautiful Soundlink Flex, which we will put off to the side for the moment. Lastly, out of the box, we have here a few documentation for the speaker. Now let's look at the speaker. As you can see, the front of the Bose Soundlink Flex is equipped with a powder coated steel grill. Being powder coated, the grill will be more resistant to chipping, scratching, and normal wear and tear. The whole exterior of the speaker, on the other hand, consists of soft touch silicone material all around with a fabric utility loop. Right on top of the speaker, we have the control buttons, which in my opinion are a bit mushy and difficult to identify by touching. Toward the back, we have another small grill, which is used for the rear passive radiator. With that quick spec out of the way, let's start the teardown. First thing off, we will need to remove the grill. The grill is held on tightly by tabs and sun adhesive. The easiest way to remove the grill is to heat up the speaker with a hair dryer to help loosen the adhesive. From there, you can pry your way around the speaker to remove the grill. Be aware, even after heating the speaker, taking off this grill is no easy task, so be patient and take your time. And here we have the grill with a very nice powder coated finish along with the Bose logo. With how much durable this finish is, I'm not as worried about scratching and damaging the grill as much as my other speaker. One thing I do want to point out is that this grill doesn't have any protective film behind it to prevent dirt or sand from getting past it. So if you don't want to go through the trouble of removing the grill, I would avoid exposing the speaker to dirt and sand. Now let's take a look at the speaker. As you can see, this is a mono Bluetooth speaker, having only one driver and one pass radio in the front. If you notice, it does have plenty of extra room, which I think would be perfect for another driver or a tweeter. To open up the speaker, we will need to use a T8 Torx screw to remove 6 long screws around the speaker as well as 4 screws on the driver. Once removed, we will pry the front half of the speaker open. As you can see, the driver is soldered onto the motherboard. So to make things quick and easy, we'll go ahead and use Mr. Scissor here to cut off the cable and remove the driver. With that out of the way, we can now take off the driver. This is a full range 60mm driver that delivers rich and deep sound alongside the dual passive radiator. Bose didn't disclose any detailed specification on this driver, so I can't really give you any info on this driver besides that it is loud and sound pretty decent. And here we have the front portion of the speaker. I'm surprised to see that it has a removable passive radiator. This makes the job of needing to replace the passive radiator as easy as unscrewing the old one and putting on the new one. Now to remove the passive radiator, we will use a T8 toy screw to remove the four corner screws and then a T6 torch screw to remove the two metal screws. As you can see, the passive radiator has quite a bit of flex, which in turn helps a lot with the low frequency sound. The frame is made from hard plastic and the whole passive radiator does have a bit of weight to it. And here we have the front half of the speaker. It's made of hard plastic and seems to have a lot of empty space, which I assume is designed to help the speaker produce the quality sound that it has. Next, we will use a T6 torch screw to remove three screws so we can take out the motherboard. With the motherboard removed, we can also take off the second passive radiator. And here we have two of the passive radiator. They are both identical to one another and has a very unique rubber membranes design. This is actually the first speaker I tear down that has a removable passive radiator with this type of design. And here we have the back half of the speaker. 
It is also made of hard plastic with soft touch silicone on the outer layer. It also contains the rear grille and the utility strap on the right. And here with the motherboard along with the battery solder onto it. This battery has a capacity of 3100 mAh that takes up to 4 hours fully charged and can provide a total play time of up to 12 hours. I managed to get a total of 10.5 hours of play time with the speaker at mixed volume. And here with the Bose Sounding Flex motherboard. This motherboard features Bluetooth 4.0 and only support SBC codec. This motherboard allows you to use the Bose app to sync your speaker to your phone and allow you to use the features such as party mode, auto off timer, and voice prompt. You can also pair this speaker with other Bose speaker for stereo sounds. This board also features position IQ and contains a IMU sensor that allows the speaker to determine its orientation and adjust its equalizer accordingly. And there you have it guys, the complete teardown of the Bose Soundlink Flex. For the price of $450, I was quite surprised by how simply built the speaker was. The design was simple and straightforward. There wasn't many parts to remove or many parts that made up the speaker. I guess it goes to show that you can still achieve a quality product even with a simple design. Well that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button so I will know if you enjoy this type of content or not. And if you do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can join me for many more teardown videos. I'll see you again in the next teardown.